Hi, lovely people. This is Nanikri. I'm wanting. I would love to say a massive thank you to all my subscribers and to all my viewers. Thank you for the time spent on my videos. The love is mutual. I love you. So today, the video is actually going to be about the demonstration on how I maintain this hair. Um, after last week's video, some people have reached out to me through messages and then they're asking if I could demonstrate what I said. So tonight, I actually want to demonstrate it because it's on the evening and I'm about to wash down. So I need to refresh this hair before I even wash down. And so if you truly want to see what I do to this hair to maintain it, then stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. As you can see, I just came home. I just got home from outside. So, okay, the hair was tied. <clears throat> Over here are the things that I used. If you remember in the, in the previous video, I talked about using aloe vera juice, a leave-in conditioner, and an oil to set it, to actually seal it. Not to set it, but to seal it. This over here is what I have my aloe vera juice in. And this is a leave-in conditioner that I'm going to use today. You can use any leave-in conditioner of your choice. It's a preference. Tonight, I'm actually using the Mayel Organics. The, this is the pomegranate and honey. So that is what I'm using tonight. Depending on how I want my hair to smell and how I want it to feel, I will use a different dip, um, a different leave-in conditioner. But tonight, this is what I'm using. So that's a preference. Whichever leave-in conditioner you have in the house, you can use it for your hair. And this is my oil. This oil is actually some concoction that I've made. So I can put it on my scalp and I can also use it to seal this whole hair and if you want to know what's in this oil i've said it before you can always put in in the comments the oil and then i will demonstrate this for you to see what's in this bottle so with that said let's get into the whole demonstration so as you can see i just untied my hair and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray my aloe vera juice onto my, from my scalp, yeah, from the roots of my hair to the ends. Because like I said, I have my hair in there. So I treat the whole hair as if it's just my natural hair. I give it the love so that it's well hydrated and well moisturized so my scalp doesn't get dry and flaky which is not attractive. So you don't want your scalp to get like that. So that's why I try to maintain this hair. And also, apart from it not being attractive, once your hair tends to dry up, you're definitely going to get breakage, which you don't want. So tonight, let's just do this together. So as you can see, I'm spraying this. I love the spray bottle. I got it from Amazon, you can get it. I just love it. I love the mix. If you can see it, I don't know if you can see it, but that's how it is. And I'm taking my time to spray every part of this hair. Let me do the roots of this side. I go all the way down. As you can see, I'm spraying every part of my hair. This is what I was talking about. in the previous video yeah if you haven't watched the previous video you can always watch it and see what i talked about but this is the demonstration so if 
because at the end of the day, we want to protect our hair. We don't want to damage our hair. As much as this looks good, and it also seems it's protecting our hair, it could also be damaging. So always make sure the once you have this kind of hair in, you maintain it. You do some sort of maintenance to what? Don't just braid your hair and then leave it in for four weeks. I bet you your hair is going to get so dry and it will break. I'm loving this. So as you can see, now the whole hair is saturated with aloe vera juice. Ooh, I love this. So this is the aloe vera juice that I have over here. So after the aloe vera juice, I go in with my, I actually go in with my oil. I go into my scalp with the oil and then I'm going to do a scalp massage. You can use your finger, like use your fingers for the scalp massage, or you can go ahead and use a scalp massager. I do have a scalp massager, but I don't know where I put it. I'll check if I find it. I might use my scalp massager. If not, I'm going to use my fingers. So I'm making sure that the oil goes everywhere onto my scalp. You don't want the scalp to be dry and flaky, no. I love the smell of this oil. I love the rosemary in it. You know, rosemary is very good for thickening hair. And I always put it in my oils. So as you can see. So I'm going through each line to make sure that there is oil. And because I spray the aloe vera already onto my scalp, like the hair is so hydrated and then the scalp is open and therefore it's receiving the oil well. Like the oil is actually penetrating. It's not sitting on top of my scalp. You could just feel just moisturizing it well. It does a good job when you spray. Even if you spray water, but I love my aloe vera juice. She just spray a little bit of water before putting your oil. I think the hair receives it better in the scalp as well. But like I said, I love my aloe vera juice. So. I don't go without it. Okay. So, I'm done with the scalp right now. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, as you can see, like massage, massage, massage. I do have a scalp massager. I don't know if I should just take a break and go for it. Because it's not in my bathroom here. But I have a scalp massager. Maybe the next demonstration I will use my scalp massager for you to see how I use that one too. It feels so good and so relaxing. So 
So you can do this for, you can choose to just relax yourself and massage your scalp, give your, your scalp a very good one, like a good massage for like five minutes. But because I'm doing the demonstration and I don't want this video to be long, I'm just going to go ahead and continue what, what I'm going to do next. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my leave-in conditioner, then I'm going to pop some. I'm going to put it, saturate this hair with it. And I'm doing it section by section, as you can see. Go in and then, yeah, like that. Make sure you saturate the hair with a leave-in conditioner. No dry hair. You are not going for that. So as you can see, I'm doing it section by section. Let me take this one there. Section by section. And I go all the way to the ends. That's how I do it. Go all the way to the end. All the way. And go all the way. As you can see. Yeah. And I love doing this. So I'm done with the other section. So I'm going to do this part. Just make sure you don't put a leave-in conditioner on your scalp. Your scalp does not need any leave-in conditioner or else you're going to get very itchy scalp. It's going to irritate your scalp. Leave-in conditioners are not meant for our scalp. It's meant for our hair. To concentrate on the hair, not the scalp. So this is my second week into my, yeah, I'm in my second week and I'm enjoying this and I'm planning to do something different to this hair once I hit my second week, like when I'm fully 14 days, I'm actually going to change this a little bit, you know, and I will definitely show it on video for you to see. I have something in mind that I'm going to do to this hair for a little bit different look, kind of. Okay. So now, we, we are done with our leave-in conditioner and we need to seal that moisture in, the hydration that we've gotten from the aloe vera juice, the moisture we've gotten from it. We are going to top it up with this. We're going to seal it in. We're locking it in. We don't want it to come out. And that is when, that is how um, your hair is going to get well moisturized. And then even at the end of the four weeks, if you want to leave your hair in for four weeks, when you take your hair out, you're going to see that your actual hair is so soft and it's so moisturized and it does not shed like it would have shed if it was so dry. So then again, I go in, as you can see, section by section to just seal it in. See, as you see, see the way I'm doing it? Just sealing it. Just sealing it. I love this oil.
you can choose any oil use any oil of your choice you can even use shea butter when you use shea butter it's good maybe my next demonstration i will use shea butter for you to see how you can also use shea butter to seal it yeah when i change i tweak the style a little bit i would do um a maintenance that day as well for you to see and that day i will use shea butter i love shea butter even though my hair is low porosity i still love shea butter because i have a way of using it like i don't use it too much but i love it especially during the winter times during the winter times it does help a lot but i don't even feel that my hair is low porosity so i'm having some buildups I love it. As long as you wash your hair, you clarify your hair, it's good. The only time it's not good is when you're leaving it to sit on top and then you're going to get build ups. Then your hair is going to tend to dry up and it's going to break. So I love shea butter. I use it a lot. The best shea butter we can find in Ghana. So, hey, if you're in Ghana and you're watching me, don't joke with the shea butter. It's the best. I love, love it. Okay. Any oil of your choice. Just use it. Seal this hair. telling you your hair is going to thank you at the end of this protective hairstyle like any protective hairstyle that you have if you take good care of it like this at the end your hair will thank you and you will be so happy as well so that's about it as you can see now it is very very well saturated with the oil as well just top in it up love it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to wrap this hair and put a hair cover on it and make sure you put something that is actually going to be a barrier between your hair and your pillow tonight because when you do it the first night if you sleep like that on your pillow you're going to soak your pillow with oil so that's about it i'm done with it yeah so if you're watching this video and you think it was helpful and it was useful to you please give me a thumbs up and also if you're watching and you haven't subscribed yet to this channel Please don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification bell button so that any video that I post, you will receive yours. Like I always say, I'm about to spill. I am spilling, but there is more to come. Always remember as you go through the week, remember to seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things shall be added unto you. That is the simple thing I can give you. That is what this whole Christianity is about. You know, we seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And always remember to, to, you know, exhibit the love of God wherever you find yourself. Let people see Christ in you by showing love, by having a forgiven spirit and a forgiven heart. Let people see who our God is, who our Jesus is. I love you. Have a blessed and a wonderful week. Bye.